Well, infrastructure is clearly a concern for people who work and live in New Orleans. Yeah, from busted streetlights on roadways and interstates to sloppy construction projects all across the city. Today, a confirmation hearing was held for the city's new public works director, who will be responsible for all of those things. WDSU reporter Morgan Lentis live on Poydras with the difficult task that that man is now facing. Morgan. So Travers Gina earlier today, a city council committee approved the hiring of Rick Hathaway. And while he has that committee's support, he heard a lot today about the improvements that can be made to the department. He's now tasked with leading. I pay for these services. There is an unfortunate reality for many residents in New Orleans. When you ask about construction on their street. OK, so um, it started about four years ago. The answer is rarely simple. Absolutely. In this New Orleans East subdivision, neighbors say they drove in each other's yards to avoid road work that is finally almost finished. But I'm told they had to fight every step of the way. We called multiple, multiple times and I let them know that I'm frustrated and angry. There's a, a process in place where the contractor is obligated to notify the residents when work is ongoing or uh, starting, restarting, whatever the case may be. Uh, I think it's up to us to enforce that. Rick Hathaway, the man appointed to head the Public Works Department, answered to council members Wednesday who shared the complaints of their constituents. Just the basics. A lot of it boiled down to communication and a need for clarity. WDSU Investigates was the first to report on the number of interstate lights out on I-10. Give me stuff that I can explain to them that the lights are out from 610 to City Park because DOTD is working on a box or something like that. Or even the lights are out because there was vandalism. So I don't have to speculate and say that that's the reason. It's an area Hathaway agreed to address and a promise residents hope he'll keep. I think uh, trust but verify is the way to go about things in this city. And for Rick Hathaway to officially get that new job title, the full city council does have to take a vote to approve him. That is scheduled to happen tomorrow. Reporting live in New Orleans, I'm Morgan Lentis, WDSU News.